In this video, let's learn about the circular queue data structure. The circular queue is an extended version of a regular queue. The size of the queue is fixed and a single block of memory is used as if the first element is connected to the last element. The circular queue is also referred to as circular buffer or ring buffer and follows the FIFO principle. Unlike a regular queue implemented with arrays, a circular queue will reuse the empty block created during the DQ operation. Because of this, when working with queues of fixed maximum size, a circular queue is a great implementation choice. The circular queue data structure supports the same two main operations. In queue or on queue, which adds an element to the rear or tail of the collection, and DQ, which removes an element from the front or head of the collection. Here is a simple visualization of the circular queue data structure. You on queue one element at a time using the rear pointer. If the queue is full, you cannot on queue anymore. You can start to dequeue from the other end using the front pointer. The empty block available can be reused to on-queue more items. Please pause the video and make sure you thoroughly understand the visual representation. It is very important for our implementation in the next video. Now a circular queue finds its usage in something as simple as a clock to streaming data where it acts as a buffer and computer controlled traffic lights. Whenever you have a fixed size queue you need to manage, circular queue is your go to data structure. Alright, now that we know what a circular queue is and where it is used, in the next video let's implement the circular queue data structure in JavaScript.